Hello everyone. We are delighted to welcome you back to our channel. Today, we delve into an intriguing topic, what happens when a narcissist perceives you as being excessively strong? What happens when they realize you possess a bit more personal power than they'd ideally prefer? The answer to these questions, as you might have guessed, is multifaceted and largely depends on the type of narcissist you are grappling with. Take for instance, a fragile, vulnerable, and more covert narcissist. This type of individual will, at first, be magnetically drawn to your strength, your unwavering confidence, your unyielding courage, and your potent personal power. It's a curious attraction that is, however, doomed to be short-lived. This is because, inevitably, they'll find themselves triggered, and they'll start feeling threatened by your power. The moment your indomitable nature starts illuminating their own inadequacies and shortcomings, laying bare their lack of personal integrity or the absence of a moral compass, your personal power and strength will morph into a problem for them. In their mind, you'll swiftly transition from a source of fascination to their adversary. Suddenly, you'll be cast as the villain in their narrative, and they, naturally, will assume the role of the victim. This is a recurring theme when we're dealing with a covert narcissist. They always perceive themselves as the victim in every situation, even those that they have not just created, but also actively perpetuate. Sound familiar? This is a telltale sign that you're dealing with a covert narcissist. If your curiosity is piqued and you wish to delve deeper into the realm of covert narcissism, we've got you covered. You can enhance your understanding by watching this video here and this video here. On the other hand, a more overt, grandiose narcissist will also find your strength and personal power incredibly attractive, at least initially. They may even relish the challenge your robust character presents, finding it to be compelling and absolutely irresistible. However, this initial fascination is bound to wane. The moment they realize that you aren't as easily swayed, manipulated, dominated, duped, deceived, or controlled as they would like, your strength and personal power will turn into a significant issue for them. Your unyielding strength and personal power will become an enormous problem, one that frustrates them immensely. This frustration, in their minds, justifies any retaliatory behavior on their part. In summary, your strength and personal power, while initially attractive to both types of narcissists, will eventually be perceived as a threat, leading to a tumultuous and problematic dynamic. It's a common misconception that narcissists will prey on just about anyone. The truth is, if you find yourself being targeted by a destructive narcissist, it's likely because you possess qualities that they covet, you emanate a lot of positivity and light. You are not only incredibly empathetic, but also profoundly loving, kind-hearted, decent, and virtuous. No one is perfect, but you are fundamentally good. Moreover, you have many admirable qualities. In a nutshell, you are the antithesis of what a narcissist represents. Furthermore, there's a high probability that you are intelligent and have achieved a considerable amount in your life. Your accomplishments reflect positively on them, enhancing their image by association. They are initially drawn to this. Therefore, your strength, personal power, and all the attributes that make you an exceptional individual are extremely appealing to a narcissist in the early stages. This is primarily because they are constantly driven by a what's-in-it-for-me mentality. However, the issue arises from the narcissist's innate need to assert dominance over others. They have a compulsive need to create and maintain a facade of superiority, regardless of how divorced from reality this perception might be. Consequently, it's only a matter of time before your strength and personal power become a significant problem for a destructive narcissist. Depending on the situation, this conflict might become glaringly apparent quite swiftly. In some instances, the tension can surface almost immediately. At other times, it might take longer for this issue to manifest as a tangible problem that disrupts the relationship dynamic. Regardless, when it does, the shift will be palpable. While a covert narcissist might be able to mask the fear, envy, and insecurity that your strength and personal power ignite within them for a while, a more overt narcissist will flip from Dr. Jekyll to Mr. Hyde in an instant. They will likely struggle to conceal their triggers or bruised ego as effectively. Based on my observations and experiences, all narcissists are both insincere and deceitful, 
but a covert narcissist brings an additional layer of manipulation to the table. It's crucial to understand and remember that individuals with narcissistic tendencies have an inherent need to occupy a position of dominance and control over others. As long as they are having their way and their needs are being met, all seems well in their world. However, the moment this balance is disrupted, things take a drastic turn. When they fail to get their way, when the realization dawns that they are not in control, or when you cease to comply with their demands, the situation can become volatile. God forbid, if you inadvertently outshine them or simply exist as your authentic self, their ego experiences a significant blow, sometimes a monumental one. This is a reaction that, ironically, has nothing to do with you and is entirely beyond your control. It is crucial to remember that this is their baggage, not yours. If they fail to gaslight you into submission, compliance, or feelings of inferiority, if their attempts to manipulate, dominate, or control you prove futile, they are forced to resort to a different tactic, given the limited emotional and psychological resources at their disposal. This new approach, although more passive, can be just as, if not more, destructive than their direct tactics. Typically, it involves manipulating and controlling the way others perceive you. When a narcissist is unable to control you, they feel threatened. This threat to their fabricated persona must be dealt with in the only way they know how. This usually involves an attempt to control how others see and perceive you, how others feel about you. They will go to great lengths to discredit, belittle, and demean you as a preemptive measure. Alarmingly, this can occur long before you even become aware of a problem. Narcissists are masters of deception, adept at lying both by omission and outright. They can weave a web of lies with remarkable ease and experience no guilt, shame, or remorse in doing so. Hence, they have no qualms about pretending that all is well, while simultaneously tarnishing your reputation the moment you are out of sight. They are adept at maintaining a facade of tranquility while wreaking havoc behind the scenes. It's worth noting that the relationship dynamic doesn't alter the behavior of narcissists, they remain consistent in their actions across various relationships. Narcissistic parents, for instance, exhibit this trait towards their children whom they can't manipulate, dominate, or control successfully. Similarly, narcissistic in-law sees every opportunity to employ this tactic as swiftly as possible, particularly if any other family member perceives the newcomer or outsider in a positive light. After all, that would disrupt their narrative, wouldn't it? This pattern of behavior is not confined to parents or in-laws. Narcissistic siblings, relatives, friends, bosses, ex-partners, and spouses also resort to these tactics frequently. Their primary objective is to mask their own appalling relationship transgressions. The underlying principle is that narcissists crave a position of perceived superiority, dominance, and control. While your strength and personal power may initially be attractive and compelling to a narcissist, it is inevitable that these traits will become problematic for anyone who falls on the spectrum of destructive narcissism. It's merely a matter of time due to the simple fact that you'll be perceived as too difficult or too challenging to manipulate, dominate, dupe, deceive, or control. The stark reality is that individuals who are viewed as excessively strong by the narcissist are those who are not easily influenced by other people's opinions. They are confident, have clear boundaries, are self-reliant, and are personally developed enough to lead sovereign lives, independent of the kind of nonsense the narcissist typically brings to the table. These individuals think, act, and feel for themselves. They trust themselves and rely on their own sound judgment. They are grounded in their own self-perception, as opposed to seeking approval and validation externally. As you can imagine, this is not the type of person a narcissist is looking for to partake in their twisted games. Now, I invite you to share your experiences. Have you ever triggered a narcissist in this manner? Please leave your thoughts and experiences in the comment section below. Sharing your experiences can provide valuable insights for others navigating similar situations. Once a narcissist is provoked by your strength, self-assuredness, bravery, and personal power, their response will be multifaceted. Not only will they attempt to tarnish your image to others, but they will also seize every opportunity to belittle you and your accomplishments. They will gleefully highlight any mistakes, flaws, failures, 
or perceived shortcomings you may have, with the sole purpose of ensuring you don't hold yourself in high regard, feel good about yourself, or, heaven forbid, be seen in a positive light by others. Moreover, they will take perverse pleasure in holding your past mistakes over your head. This is just another strategy in their arsenal to undermine your self-worth and self-esteem. They will revel in constantly reminding you of your past as if it were an old picture on the wall they stubbornly refuse to take down. This is true regardless of how much you've grown, how much you've changed, or how far you've come since those past mistakes. They will exploit any aspect of your past they can latch onto and use it against you. Additionally, they derive immense satisfaction from exploiting any vulnerabilities you may have. Their goal is to make you question your worth, doubt yourself, and second-guess your decisions. In other words, they will deliberately create and exacerbate feelings of guilt, shame, fear, inadequacy, and insecurity within you. Their sole purpose in doing so is to keep you subjugated and feeling inferior. The irony is that it's their own deeply buried feelings of inferiority that fuel this irrational and harmful behavior. Unless you've been subjected to this type of emotional and psychological abuse, it can be challenging to comprehend that people can exhibit such cruelty solely because their own fears, shame, and insecurities have been triggered. However, I assure you, this form of mistreatment is a daily occurrence in the world of narcissistic abuse. This understanding can be a powerful tool in recognizing and dealing with such damaging behaviors. It's important to remember that you are not alone in this struggle. Many others have walked this path and have emerged stronger. So, you might be wondering, what is the solution to this predicament? If the information I've shared with you in this video resonates with your personal experiences in any way, there are several steps I recommend you take to A. Ensure your self-care and protection. B. Outweat the narcissistic individual, causing you distress. Let's delve into these steps more deeply. First and foremost, it's important to distance yourself from the narcissist as much as possible. This is a crucial step in depriving them of their source of narcissistic supply, which they draw from influencing and manipulating others. Aim to disengage from their sphere of influence as much as you can. If possible, sever all ties, completely. This might seem like a drastic measure, but it's often necessary for self-preservation when dealing with a narcissist. However, if completely cutting off contact is not an option for you, there are still measures you can take to protect yourself. One effective tactic is to act indifferent or unresponsive around them. This strategy is often referred to as the gray rock method. If you're unfamiliar with this term, I highly recommend you watch this video here, which provides a detailed explanation of the method and how to implement it effectively. Once you've managed to establish, at the very least, a low-contact environment with the narcissist, if not a no-contact one, it's time to focus on healing. Healing from this type of emotional and psychological abuse is not a quick process, but it's an essential one. Commit yourself to personal healing and recovery work. This doesn't just involve recovering from the immediate harm inflicted by the narcissist. It's also about reclaiming your personal power, rebuilding your self-confidence, and addressing the subconscious patterns that may have led you to attract such individuals into your life in the first place. The journey to healing and recovery is deeply personal and can be quite challenging. It involves reflecting on past experiences, understanding the impact they've had on you, and making conscious efforts to break detrimental patterns. It's about learning to prioritize your well-being, even when it means making difficult decisions like cutting off contact with harmful individuals. Remember, it's not just about surviving the experience with the narcissist, but thriving beyond it. It's about transforming your life in a way that such individuals no longer have space in it. This might seem like a daunting task, but with patience, perseverance, and the right resources, it's entirely possible. You have the strength and resilience within you to overcome this and create a healthier, happier future for yourself. To wrap up, thank you for watching this video. If it was helpful, please click like and share your thoughts in the comments. If you know someone who could benefit from this content, feel free to share it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos. Thank you for your support.